Good morning, guys. Out here chilling with Daxford. It's at 9 o'clock, not too early. But I was kissing him in the nose. I was going, and he was getting a little laugh. Or he was smiling. <laughs> Elena said she thought my beard was too long. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, dude. But I think today, guys, we're just gonna. Oh Whoa! My I think today, guys, we're gonna go for a walk. Uh, find a little night, find a nice nature trail without a bunch of people around. You know what I'm saying? Stay secluded. Continue that social distancing. Trying to get some baby oil on his head. Make sure he's not so crusty. Give him a little kiss. <laughs> <laughs> not even 30 seconds later, and he is knocked out of my lap. Look at my titties in there again. Try to hide the titties. Like, you want to breastfeed, Dex? nipples in his mouth <laughs> like a spider when you spray him with cockroach spray or spider spray it's <laughs> and then they curl up in the little ball and their legs get all curled up and they're like oh i'm slowly dying <laughs> he needs a blanket he's cold i'm gonna pick him back up real quick i was just getting lapped up i'm actually super hyped right now because like one of my favorite movie series i think if i actually have an answer now i could say my favorite movie is probably fast and the furious I feel like I never know what to answer if somebody asks, what's your favorite movie? If you guys have a favorite movie, comment down below what it is. Elena, what's your favorite movie? Oh man, that's a whole other conversation. It's a whole three hour conversation, yeah. right? She's a movie buff over here. But, Fast and the Furious, they're having to do mar- what, what channel is it? E channel? E channel, they're doing like a marathon of like oh, Fast and Furious all day long. I'm like, what? I'm so hyped. We just got done watching Tiger King. Fun fact, you guys probably watched in yesterday's vlog, I was talking about Tiger King all goddamn day. Man, your titty is so close to being out. Good job with that little blanket right there. Good job. But we are, I was fucking talking about Tiger King all day long. Hello, good morning, kid, cats, kittens, and Kelly. What'd they say? Cool cats and kittens. Good morning, cool cats and kittens. But literally, this show was ridiculous. If you guys uh, heard about it by now, you probably have. It's Tiger King on Netflix. And literally, it's like about this so gay funny. president running, mayor running, zoo owning. Tiger King. Tiger King, tiger breeding, tiger selling, murder meth for smoking, murder for hire, having an ass. It was like every single thing, sex loving, every single thing you could think of about a person, this was him. It's like right when you think it gets weird and crazy, you get to the next episode and it's like, what the hell? What? Yeah, fuck. So pretty much just shouts yeah. out fucking, fuck you, Carol Baskin. <laughs> <laughs> shouts out Joe Exotics. Fun fact. My ass actually was, uh, I was going through Instagram and I just happened to open up my Instagram at the exact like hour that Chinatown Market, if you guys don't know Chinatown Market, it's a clothing brand. They posted on their Instagram, oh, we have this shirt out for sale for one hour only. It said 30 minutes, but I caught it an hour after they posted it and it was still up on their website, but not their Instagram. And then they reposted it right as I bought it with like 10 more minutes. So I got it within like that hour and like 10 minutes they had it for sale. I'm hyped as fuck. I'll see if I got a picture of the shirt. No, I haven't got a, a tracking on it yet, but I don't even know. Maybe it's not even going to ship because it's damn coronavirus. But I'll throw a picture up of the shirt right here. That shit is fucking hilarious, guys. I'm going to be walking around the Tiger King thing. I'm like, are you serious? And it's like, I feel kind of bad because like, he's like crazy. You know what I mean? Like, he's not like the best of guys. Like, he shot tigers and all that and like buried him. And it's like, and it's like, I'm kind of supporting him. But it's like, I'm honestly supporting him because he's fucking hilarious. He's a badass dude that like spoke his mind about fucking Carol Baskin. He wasn't taking no snap. But what are you doing back there, Lena? <laughs> oh, blocker just gets a pops out. He wasn't taking no business. He really, he had his whole YouTube channel. He wanted to be famous. He sung. He was funny. He was a pretty happy dude. But then he got sad because towards the end of the documentary series, I like he played back some it. clips and shit. And like it showed how like when he started, he was a good guy. Like he really wanted to save the animals and do all that. And then money took over. Once you get $5,000, we're just having a little cub. And you can have a cub have a cub every like few months but or yeah, a line he's, of a cub every few months. He's in jail now for the run for hire and an animal abuse. Shot tigers. Yeah, and his excuse was he shot tigers because like it was sick and hurt and they couldn't they didn't have doctors but there's no tiger veterinarian around there he said so he euthanized but them. So does that other guy, mm -hmm. the but other tiger guy. Exactly, watch him and tell him right now. And then it was you like it. I get that because he, he, he doesn't tiger veterinarians around. But then it was like some guy also came out and he was like, no, he went up the hill and killed a perfectly fine tiger to make room for puppies so he can sell like little kittens little so that way yeah he can fucking go out because people can play with the cubs he can't play with the big cats you know. It was crazy. And then, one more thing before I stop talking about the Tiger King. You guys seen, like, the Ace Family fucking weirdos and all that shit? And, like, a bunch of other YouTubers that go to, like, these elephant, like, places and they ride the elephants and play with the kittens. And even Brother Nature and uh, that Tarzan guy went there to that well, fucking chubby white dude. Doc Antle. Doc Antle, yes. And he has, like, a hat. And this motherfucker, he was on there, too. He's just as evil as everybody else. This motherfucker has a cult. He gets all these young girls to come there and he fucking forces them to get blue, like, blowjobs. Forces them to get boob jobs. <laughs> Probably getting blowjobs, too, they said. <laughs> 
<laughs> forces him to get boob jobs. He fucking has sex with him. He says he makes him work like all times and hours of the day. He doesn't pay him. He gives him houses. <laughs> but he's evil. He is. He's forcing him. And then the girl, the girl said, give me a blowjob, doc. He's fucking... And he invites all these YouTubers out there. And then, like, he literally, they have, the YouTubers have, like, no clue that he's, like, a freaking cult leader, sex maniac. Yeah, I think it was, like, in the end of December 19, he got raided so, like, for fucking... three months ago, he just got raided. Yeah. So who knows what his thing is called. Fun fact, I was trying to hide this sweatshirt from the fucking vlog clip that was just sitting on the bed and Atlanta was wearing it. And then I put it on my lap so you guys couldn't see it in my lazy ass. I don't know what I was doing. I just... I don't know what all right, breakfast time at almost <laughs> at almost noon. It's like 11.15 right now, but who cares? We're gonna make eggs in a hole. I know people call it like toad in a hole or something. Have you ever had it? Ever made yeah, it you made you? it for me before. I, like I never it. had it before you until you gave it to me. So it's literally bread and eggs. And you just, I used to get a shot glass and just do it in the middle and it gets a little hole out of it. And then you butter your bread like you're gonna make like grilled cheese. And then you crack your egg inside of it and it's like a little egg bread thing i guess <laughs> sandwich i guess well i'm gonna make two so i guess it's like a sandwich oh you can put cheese on it let's get cheese going <laughs> so you just get the egg like that guys and then you just not get any shells in there and then crack it in the hole and then check out donovan's target Very fit today. fucking simple elena she's <laughs> fucking i'm so mad i'm gonna change now i fucking walk out the bedroom thinking i'm looking good i was like hey i feel good she goes you look like you work at target motherfucker <laughs> I'm changing. <laughs> Let's see if I still look like I work at Target, god damn it. I still look like I work at Target, Elena? No. Oh, you look so cute, though. Oh, now she says it. She's so fake. You look so cute. I, I love when you. she fucking fakes it for I'm me. I'm not at all, though. You look oh. so cute. Who knows? When did you get the twin? Grandma. Really? Yeah. Flip them. I just did. Oh, you did? Oh, you're making break oh, the egg, bro. The yolk. Oh my let's god, Elena. Let's just not. What we just serve it on your plate. Put the eggshells in there. What? No, I didn't. Good. Well, I'm trying to flip it. Good. One thing that I always have to yell at Elena about. Which yeah, is we know. We put the eggshells back in the Disgusting, Elena. Yeah, I get it. She <laughs> cracks the eggshells, and then she puts the other half of the eggshell in here. And then she says, I'm going to throw them away. I, I was just going to say, I throw them away. But it doesn't matter because the fucking bacteria is slime. It's all in here. And then she puts it back in the fridge. And she's over there fucking spreading the bacteria everywhere in the fridge. Spreading the corona. And she's like, she's the one that started the corona shit. And she's over, yes. The corona. Ah! Because the fucking eggshells, Galena. We talked about it before in a vlog, too. But you know something else Elena does? What? What do I do? What? Don't show that nasty bridge. What? There's nothing on it. Can't even open it. Oh my god, look at all that fucking mustard oh my everywhere. God, so oh my god. She literally gets mustard out of these caps every goddamn time. Like I'll come over here and I'll come to the sink and I'll turn the water on, I'll put my finger over it, and I'll fucking wash it off. Make sure it's nice and clean. You know, who wants all that nasty old mustard in there? You know what Donovan does? Nothing. Uh, let's see. <laughs> he spends two hours in the bathroom and then will decide to leave his freaking uh, clothes in the bathroom behind the door for days. <laughs> or he'll just throw them in the bathroom. So. <laughs> no, I haven't put them in the bathtub since I lived with my parents like <laughs> 10 years ago. Don't even say that. My dad's gonna fucking watch and be like, oh my God, you still do that? <laughs> no, it's in the bathtub. He just throws it behind the door now. No, I don't. Do no. No, this is the thing. This is the thing. I go to the bathroom in the morning and somehow my p underwear comes off and then I forget. I forget that I had underwear on because sometimes I sleep naked. So I go back to bed and then I'm like, oh, damn, bro. I didn't realize that I left my boxers in there. Yeah, you know. Well, so then how come you also move the bathroom carpet every single time you poop? Well, because we only have one carpet in there and it's like either under the sink or under the toilet. And when I come in there in the morning, the hardwood floor is really cold, you know? And I don't oh, like... You move it? Yeah, I don't like my oh, toes. I don't like my toes. Socks. What, why don't you move it back, though? Oh, look, guys. Just kidding. You almost did it. Ah, God damn it. <laughs> Just kidding. All right, Dax has a diaper change. Elena is in the kitchen over here cooking on breakfast. And she hit me up this morning on a little text message when I was taking a dump. And she said, I want to get drunk today. Go get me some... <laughs> She didn't text me that, but she did. When I came out of the bathroom, she was like, I want some alcohol today. And it was funny because last night 
I was like, I'm going to wake up tomorrow. I'm going to take like three shots to start the day. It's quarantine life and I'm getting so bored in this house. I'm time to get fucking funny. Time to get funny. Time to get funny. <laughs> so we're, uh, I'm going to go to the store real quick again. I think 7-Eleven because there's not that many people that went into 7-Eleven instead of like Winco. It was like smaller. Get a pack of Coronas and some White Claws. I fucking love White Claw. Elena really hasn't. Or Modelo. Yeah. Or Modelo. Whatever's cheaper. I love Modelo, but I think Corona's going to be cheaper. And get some White Claws because White Claws are delicious. And they came out like really in the same time Elena got pregnant. So she bought one and she was going to try it. But then she got pregnant and never got to try it. I tried it. Fell fucking in love with them and been drinking them her whole pregnancy. She sipped one the other day and she's like, oh, that's actually not that bad. She just felt weird drinking and breastfeeding at the same time. Even though it says like one shot, you can wait like five hours. It's fine or whatever. She'll be okay. So I think I'm going to go to Winco right now and buy, or not Winco, sorry, 7-Eleven and get single White Claw, one for her, one for me, and a case of Coronas or Modelo's. Let's do it. She said dinner and some booze. I was thinking breakfast with a white claw. Ha! <laughs> I'm not kidding. <laughs> Saturday, I keep my mind and my body flexible. That was yesterday. Every experience I have leads to me to greater understanding. Mm, I like that. Oh, and they said we got the shelves and on the floor. Got the goods. Modelo's and this one actually had white claws. All right, so I actually went to 7-Eleven and um, they used to take Apple Pay, but for some reason I don't take Apple Pay now. And I don't usually carry Elena's card with me. So I had to go back home and get Elena's card. And I was like, fuck it, bro. They didn't have single white claws there either at this place, at the 7-Eleven. So I was like, I'm going to go to Winco since the fucking, I went to 7-Eleven and they didn't have anything anyways. So I went to Winco and the fucking Modelo was cheapest. It was $13 for a 12 bag. That's great. That's a really good deal. It was 16 at 7-Eleven. And then they actually had single white claws. So that's lit. Cool. Unique brew pure process and only the finest flavors to deliver a surge of pure refreshment and hard seltzer like no other white claw hard seltzer made pure I Fucking love white claws guys. I'm gonna cool, lie. I fuck with white claws heavy. Elena's going for the beer instead of the white claw. Poor Elena. She doesn't know what's good for her Just got home. Elena has breakfast done and I convinced her to actually have the freaking <laughs> alcohol for breakfast with me But it's not really breakfast. It's 12 o'clock. It's noon. I didn't open mine yet. White claw for me. It's not bad luck. What? To cheers, cheers when it's not open? Who told you that? I don't know, I just feel like that's not good. That's a lie. <laughs> <laughs> what up, y'all? Uh, finished breakfast, oh finished the White Claw, had a nice relaxation, oh made it at the house. Now we're gonna get some fresh air. We're finding a park that's far away from everybody. That was hilarious. But we were sitting here in traffic and Lena was like, is this car, like this person right here, they're not six feet away from me at and all. And their window was down. Yeah, like we're not six feet away. And it's like, bro, we need to step out. And there's like these two kids like skateboarding on the side of the road. <laughs> and like I scream, I was like, hey! Each other. Six feet apart! <laughs> they had like jumped and looked at him, but no, other than that, I've seen so many kids outside playing, like in our apartment complex, and, like outside and stuff. And it's like I get like kids need fresh air and everything, like maybe go walk with your parents, but they're like legit playing with their friends. Exactly. Like you're spreading it. You're spreading it. <laughs> Literally, and it's like so I scream six feet apart, and they gave me the dirtiest look. It was freaking hilarious. And the kid like looked up like. Hey. It's sure. So now if I see anybody that's uh, close together on the way to this park, now I'm gonna scream at them and try to show you guys. Six feet apart. <laughs> six feet apart. Well, total fail. We're turning around <clears throat> because there's a shit ton of people literally walking to where we want to walk literally like a million like literally Did a I million like we yeah we turned the corner like more people walking we turned the corner and it was like boom people everywhere like they obviously want to get out too but it's like you're supposed to go places where there's no people like at least we're trying to find a trail where there's literally no people at all and i don't know what we're gonna do i don't know we're gonna find another park <laughs> after freaking 20, 30 minutes of driving around, we finally found a park that only has like one car at it. We seen the couple, they walked over there. So we're gonna go over there, this little botanical garden that nobody was at because the other parking lot was closed. So I think this should do. Elena's back here getting the stroller out. I'm like, get Dax out right now. We're gonna go on our walk. <sighs> we just had to pass our first group of people. <laughs> Success. Only like three people, but still, it wasn't it was bad. Like... <laughs> Lena was like seeing dramatic. She's like running through the bushes <laughs> over <sorry>. there. <laughs> you got him, we're gonna be all good. This park's pretty cool though. It's like super, it's actually like the exact kind of park we were looking for. Nice and like nature not hella people around everywhere. That bridge park oh earlier God. was ridiculous. Yeah. This house right here is crazy. They have like a, a, a fucking deck that goes down to the park. It's awesome. Yeah, like, I was gonna say, I like how I can like go to the park right there. It's super easy, but like definitely anybody can walk right up here. For
was not expecting this park to be so goddamn cool. I told you guys we're pulling up on the flowers over here, and then all of a sudden this ginormous tree with this huge base and like all these flowers like separately placed like in between each one, like looks like different like lilies and like lotuses and type of flowers and stuff like that. Like dope. And tulips, uh, yes, and yeah. tulips, yes, like I don't know, maybe that's awesome. Man, maybe I meant tulips, not lilies. But like literally this park looks super freaking cool. They even have all the like little flowers over here, like the blue ones over there and pink ones over there. We kind of got bum rushed by a crap ton of people for we a just minute. Went and hid in the corner we hid in the, the corner over there, and then they all went away, and now we're coming back out from our hiding, and they all left. But like, literally, this is so, so amazing. Pretty. I was not expecting like all these flowers to be placed so like perfectly out here. It doesn't even do it justice on camera. Like it's so. I thought they were fake. Like legit, I thought they were fake. That's awesome with this ginormous tree. And we are home. Elena's gonna cook some dinner now. She's gonna go down and munch. Oh wait, I'm gonna cook some dinner. Elena's gonna take care of the baby. And get in some shenanigans tonight, you know what I'm saying? Maybe crack a, crack some shots open again, get Elena drunk as hell. She ain't doing it. I'm kidding, I know she ain't doing it. My eyes look good when I was in that window though. Weirdest thing guys. So I was, been vlogging a lot about watching the Tiger King. And I think somehow like the Netflix, they, the channel, they like found me talking about like the Lion King or the Tiger King. Cause like they totally hit me up and they sent me like a lion cub, tiger cub. <laughs> We're gonna introduce the little tiger cub to Dax right now. Look, see, he's so cute. Hi, hi. I don't know what to name him. They just sent us a tiger cub and they said you can keep him. Hi, Dax. Why are we so? Oh, oh he's so. Oh, you like hey, the tiger Carol. cub. It's hi. A voice from your past. Oh, hi. Get me the oh, fuck oh, out from me and Dax. <laughs> He's so cute. He's so cute. He just uh, crapped his brains out, and now this thing stinks. We need a new one of these, like an actual, like a real one. Like this is like a cheap one, and like there's like no seal. It's just like barely like a thing, and it just all the smell comes out. It stinks bad. Oh yeah, Dex. I saw a tiger, and a tiger saw a man. Oh shut up. You know something funny, guys? I was just changing his shit exposure when I seen that song right now <laughs> by the tiger guy. And like this window right here kind of shows like up the stairs of the neighbor's kind of front door a little bit. And like I was singing, I got a tiger and the tiger saw my. And I look back and this fucking lady and the dude was staring at me. The neighbor like sells puppies every now and then. So yeah, these random people come over to the front door and they had like, I was like, oh my God. I literally turned around and I was like, whoopsies. <laughs> and right now I was like, <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, the neighbors are going to walk out the house and they're going to see the damn kid in the air going, <laughs> Oh, Dax. Don't worry, Mom and Dad. I'm being very gentle with our son. My son. Your grandson. <laughs> All right. Elena said she has a few questions for me, so let's go. Response online. I said, ask your partner these questions and write exactly what they say, but I'm not going to. Okay. Write. Let's do it see. then. Dad, you're okay. Um, what's something I say a lot? Oh, my God. Um, I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> what makes me sad? Uh, not seeing me. Aww, it's just sad. What's my favorite thing to drink? Uh, water. <laughs> I do like water, yeah. How tall am I? Like, fucking 5'3", five, 5'4"? Five, no, 5, like 1. Yeah, that low, short, sure, yeah. What the fuck? What's my best feature? <laughs> we know that one. Oh my god. What do I do when you're not around? Sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Take care of the baby. <laughs> What's my favorite TV show? Friends. Yeah. If I became famous, what would it be for? <laughs> um, <laughs> what are you say? I don't know. <laughs> An OnlyFans account? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> what makes you proud of me? Um, I'm proud of myself. What's my favorite thing to do? Um, 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 what's my if I could go anywhere, where would it be? Uh, Greece or Paris? Yes, yeah. Look, I said something the other day too. I'm gonna add it in my bucket list. I forgot what it was though. How do I annoy you? Uh, <laughs> Everything. Next question. Oh, okay. <laughs> Who's my favorite person? Uh, me or Dax? <laughs> you and Dax for sure, yeah. Uh, you get a call that I'm in trouble. Who am I with? Kayla. <laughs> It'd be either with me, you. Yeah. We'd be getting the call. We'd be together. You're by yourself. And what's my favorite color? Pink. Yeah, black. Man, pink or black. Like, I like yellow. Black too. like her soul. I like yellow too because it reminds me of our wedding. It's true. 
That's all of them? Yep. That wasn't that bad. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> now you get to know us a little bit more. <laughs> Dinner is done. I know it doesn't look that appetizing and I'm being broke life over here with this damn fork. But uh, save, exactly, saving life on these damn dishes over here. But I got some shells, some Alfredo sauce, some chicken, some spinach, some bell peppers, and some tomatoes. Threw the sauce, the chicken, the bell peppers, and tomatoes in the crock pot for like 20 minutes. And the last 10 minutes I threw in the noodles and look at that, it came out perfect. Noodles are cooked to perfection. Mixed in with the sauce and the chicken, all that roasted perfect. Ta-da, amazing. The truth. Oh, 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 oh,